Hey folks, how you doing? My name is Justin Lamphere and right now I'm at the James A. McKinner Art Museum and I would like to introduce to you a really popular painting called The Burning of the Center Bridge by Edward Redfield. It was painted in July 1923. The story is the lightning struck the center bridge at, that connected to New Jersey to Pennsylvania. Redfield was driving home at night and he saw the bur burning bridge. At first, he thought it was his house being burned down. He got out of his vehicle, watched a fire, and on the side of the river, he saw his friend, William Lathrop, and he thought, oh my gosh, I should make a painting out of this scene. So he took out an envelope and quickly drew some sketches. He used the sketches to get the ideas for an oil painting on canvas. Before we take a look at the painting, imagine if you were at the accident. What would you hear? What would you see? What would you smell? For me, I would hear people screaming, ah, ah! I would hear fire truck sirens, I would see people surrounded by the bridge and firemen putting out the fire and I would smell the wood burning. Now let's go inside the museum and take a look at the painting. As you can see the bridge is on fire and people are surrounded by it and you see the firemen putting out the fire. You can't see Redfield's vehicle in this picture because obviously he sketched the accident. So how could he possibly sketch himself in the picture? It's impossible. So anyway, in my opinion, I think this painting is very impressive. I think it's pretty well done. And I think if you take like three to six steps back from being so close to the painting, it looks so real. And I especially love the fact that it is a, there, there is a true story connected to the painting. So basically, I'm very proud of this artwork. Redfield was very proud of this artwork too. In fact, he started off with a small painting and thought it wasn't good enough. So he made a larger painting and thought it was much better than the small painting. All right, I've got the sketches. Now it's time to paint. This looks too boring, too bland, and not big enough for an art museum. I need to make it larger. Wow, this is too perfect for words. It's much better. Then the picture came to the museum and it became one of the greatest paintings in this museum. What do you think of this painting? Are you interested in this story? Tell me your opinion in the comment section below. My name is Justin Lanfear and I cannot possibly end this video without a dance group. Hey folks, how you doing? My name is Justin Lamphere, and right now I'm at the James A. McKinner Museum. Art Museum. Ah, shoot. Free take. <laughs> hey folks, how you doing? My name is Justin Lamphere, and right now I'm at the James A. McKinner Art Museum. I drew some quick, quickly drew some sky. Ah, free take. So as you can see, the bridge is on fire, and everybody's like surrounded by the bridge, and you see the fireman putting out the fire. You can't he sketch the accident. So how the heck can he possibly... Ah, oh, shoot, I said heck. I'm trying to get a vehicle in this because that is, like, impossible for him to sketch himself in the picture. Ah, oh, sugar bumps. Retake. Hey, folks, how you doing? My name is Justin Lamphier, and right now I'm at the James A. McKinner Art Museum. And I would like to show you one of the most popular paintings in the art, in this museum. Blah, fudge. Retake. Two, one. Oh, wait, it's over. You're good. Hey, folks, how you doing? My name is Justin Lampier, and right now I'm at the James A. Michener Art Museum. And I would like to introduce to you a really popular painting called The Burning Spirit Center. Ah! Watch my icicles. Change it. Nah. This looks too boring, too bland, and not, and not enough for it. Nah. Shoot. Retake. 